Saturday the 16th, it's 57 degrees out, so we're going to attempt this first climb back again. Yesterday I was playing out here in the garage, got the boots and the spurs, and got them all adjusted properly, got familiarized. One thing with the Edelrids, you definitely want to play around with them before you actually plan on using them. There's much more adjustability than in your standard spur, which you know you just slap on and tighten the two straps and you're good to go. So when I left San Diego, I was driving through the desert, only about an hour out, and I was listening to this song, and I was singing along, and I did that scream, or attempted to, and I blacked out on the highway with cruise control set at like 80 miles an hour. I like came to, and thankfully it was a completely straight stretch of desert road, and I didn't go off the highway and die. Blacking out while driving, fun times. Of course I would get my throw weight stuck. Now I gotta run up this one, get my weight, but I can take those rigging ropes up there while I'm at it. And before I set it up, I put a strap on there and with a three to one and tested my tying point, just in case. My muscles will be back in shape. I got my tree legs back yet.
Yeah, that felt great, but it also felt really awkward. It's going to take some time to get those tree legs back. I hadn't really planned on doing any rope climbing, and I had therapy this morning, which ramped up quite a bit as they cleared me. So even just that little climb I did, I was already starting to cramp up in the bison back. It just amazes me how fatigued I get so fast. It's going to take some time, but oh, it felt so good. It's just so good. Gibbs says, have a good one, humans. Gibbs.